Hi, this is my presentation on how to bypass a Windows machine. Uh, in order for us to do that, we need to, well, first I'm going to show you that we can't get in. There's no way for us to get in. We do not know how to get in, correct? This is a way of, of bypassing this, or if you forget the password altogether. But for us to be able to do that, we need command prompt. And for us to get be able to go into command prompt from here, we get the ease of access, which is over here, and we want to change, uh, basically bind the ease of access into command prompt. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to restart, restart the computer, Restart the computer. All right, and then now here, when it goes to bootable drive, to which boot, which drive you want to boot from, you press enter or you press anything. I'm sorry, you press any key, and you want to go into the the Windows reinstall or the Windows update or whichever would it would be. If you're going to install, which doesn't matter because we're not going to do either of those things. We want access to the command prompt. This is going to take a little while. Okay, so once here, we're going to hit Shift and F10, and there you go. It's going to bring up the command prompt. And from here, we want to go into the drives, correct? So the uh, we're going to go through each drive. Obviously, it's not going to be in. Obviously, it's not going to be in C drive because we're going to go C drive. We're going to hit directory, and it's not in there. There's nothing in there. File not found. So we're going to go to the next drive. Correct. We're going to hit D. We're in there. We're going to hit directory, and boom. There it is. We got, there's our there's our Windows uh, directory, which, which, which we want to go into. Once here, we're going to go into, we're going to hit C, uh, CD Windows. We want to go into the, the contents of there. Okay, so now we're in there. And then we want to hit system. 32. System 32. I always mess this up and put Windows instead of System. System 32. And we're in it. Now, from here, we're we're going to input this command. Altman, as in uh, that's basically the 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 execution for the ease of access utility, I think it is. Yeah, utility man, manual or something like that. Exe, and we're gonna press enter, and then from here we're going to copy. So we're gonna hit command. .exe. Sorry, command dot exe. Now we're going to do utilman again. Utilman dot exe. And then we're going to copy, and it's copied. And from here, we're done. Correct? So we're going to exit out. Exit out of this. And yes, we're going to restart the computer as well. It's going to restart automatically now. You're not going to do anything here. You're not going to press anything. You're going to go straight into the um, the startup screen, the sign in screen. Okay. 
Okay, so we're in the login screen. Login screen, where are you? It's loading up still. Okay, so we're in the login screen, correct? And now you can see that still we can get in. We have no access, nothing. So again, we're going to go to ease of access, and there it goes. That's your command prompt. That, it comes up. We binded it to ease of access, and your command prompt comes up. And here we want control system, geez, system. My apologies, I'm like all over the place. Control, user passwords, two. And then we press enter, and it's going to bring this up. And that's our, basically, that our users. It's going to give us our list of users. The only user is John D on this one. So what we do is we go here, we click on it, reset password, and you can put whatever password you want now, or if you just leave it blank, and click OK and click out of this, you won't need any password at all. And you're up and running and you're inside a Windows machine. Just like that. Let me uh, get in there just to prove it. Boom, we're in. And the time and date is 5.30 and it's 11 November 12, 2021. Uh, anyways, thank you very much.